Hello friends, this is Ryan from RenewedHealth.com. Hope you are well. Thank you so too much for tuning into this video. I'm excited to talk to you today about a new product on the market, really the most advanced red light panel uh, that has hit the market, uh, in my opinion, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about the benefits of the Mito Adapt series from Mito Red Light. I do wanna disclose that we do have an affiliation with Mito, as we do with Platinum, and you know, Canley, this is these are great products. Uh, but we would appreciate you using our discount code at checkout. Please also make sure to hit like on this video and feel free to subscribe to our channel as well. And on top of that, I'm actually a real person. You can call me if you have questions. You can go to our website, pull up the phone number. I will personally call you back and help figure out whatever the, red, my, the optimal red light panel would be for you, for your budget, for your setup, for your body size, for whatever it is that you're trying to figure out as well. This is a confusing space and trying to figure out all of this via a podcast can be a little bit overwhelming. So feel free to call me. All right, I want to talk with you today about the new Mito Adapt series. So, what does this panel offer that other panels on the market don't? Number one, you have the uh, every lens on this these particular panels has two LED chips in it, and really what that means for you is that you can turn on and off different LED chips and alter the output, the wavelength wise that's coming off of these panels. This is pretty game changing. So if you're reading a bunch of research on 810 and the near infrared spectrum, and you're like, you know what? I'd really like to have 810, but I also want to have the option of having other outputs as well. Guess what? You can now do that. You could set it up to be 50% 810 and then have alternate wavelengths as your other output, okay? You could say, you know, I'm really liking the 630 on the red. You could set up alternate wavelengths on that as well. And I'm gonna put down in the show notes on this, uh, on the notes, the actual configuration options so that you can look at it and say, oh, that makes sense. That would be really attractive for me. All right, outside of this uh, dual chip output situation, uh, you also have a really neat advanced control panel. Okay, now this control panel can vary the brightness. I don't really know why you would ever have it under 100% brightness, but if you wanted to reduce the brightness, stand closer, you know, uh, do it, whatever you may want to do, you could certainly alter that. The other thing that uh, the control panel allows is a mobile interface. So you can use your mobile cell phone to interface via Bluetooth. Now, if you don't want that, you're really sensitive to electromagnetics, you can turn the Bluetooth feature off. Okay, so I just want to say that. But um, with that um, cell phone option, you can actually track your sessions. You can track how much light am I getting uh, and interface that as well. Uh, which is pretty neat. Uh, so there's no need for a fancy remote option or anything like that. Your, your cell phone is going to serve in that kind of capacity. Um, there, and then also you can adjust the time on the control panel. So it's very simple to use. I think you really would like that control panel for sure. All right. What else makes this interesting? Well, you have the option as well to have a horizontal and a vertical stand option. Uh, if you're just going to buy a single panel, you can get the floor stand as well. And the small panel comes with a tabletop, um, um, uh, you know, um, tabletop stand as well. All right. So should you buy one of these? Well, if you've got a lot, if you've got a substantial budget, you probably would want to buy one of these. Now, they're not very wide. So if you're thinking about getting a full, full panel setup kind of scenario, you may actually want to end up getting two of these panels to put them side by side. The longest one, called the Max, is 36 inches in length and 9 inches in width. Okay? So um, if you put two of those uh, top to bottom, that's right at 6 feet. If you want an optimal setup, a really mind-blowing kind of setup, get two of the Maxes and have 18 inches in width by 6 feet tall and have you know, those four panels thrown off, serious intensity. Now look, I'll be fair with you, there's been so much mismarketing in the years past about um, about how many, you know, what the solar outputs on these things are. To be fair, at this point, Mito and Platinum are not putting out anything that is subpar in output. These lights can only get so intense before it's, you know, just, in, it can't, you can't go to a tanning booth and get a tan in two minutes versus a 20 minute tanning session because you're gonna blister your skin. These, these panels are as bright as you're gonna need. So from an intensity standpoint, don't make that your buying, um, you know, your buying decision right now 
on any of these on the Mito or the Platinum uh, side. You, you need to go with what you want. So uh, if you're thinking, hey, I want the adaptability, I want the latest and greatest, I want a phenomenal um, you know, control panel, and I want to have mobile interface as well to be able to track my sessions, you know what, this could be pretty awesome for you. Hey, let's talk about one thing. If you're going to go with the four spectrum output, the 630, 660, 810, and 850, and just leave it at a 25% spread on all of those panels, um, you are going to get light that is going to bleed lower than the 630 and higher than the 850. And let me just kind of address this. On LEDs, there is a peak on an LED. It's not a laser. Lasers are, you know, are very precise. Uh, LED has a spectrum. So a 630 will go all the way down to about 590, okay? And all the way up clearly to a 670. So with this panel, you could go on it at the 25% spectrum and have all the way on the low end from 590 and go all the way on the high end on the near infrared to about 900, okay? Now, that's really where most of the biological activity on you know, these wavelengths are coming from right now. So that's a pretty good setup. So many of you may just say, you know what? I don't want to cast all my bets on one particular spectrum. I want to go with that, and that would be fantastic. Okay. So uh, if you go four of the uh, ADAPT maxes, that's a huge setup. The small panel, these are expensive. I mean, I'll just call it what it is. If the adaptability of being able to turn off the different wavelengths and vary in your different options isn't really that enticing or that's a little bit too nerdy for you uh, or too deep in the trenches from a research standpoint for you to get excited about, either the Platinum Biomax series, which is a great light, or the Mito Pro uh, series from Mito, those are really good options. Um, as I've addressed in the past, the Mito Pro has more of the alternate spectrum lights than the Platinum Biomax does. But Platinum Biomax now has a, you know, a couple blue lights that you can turn on and off on those as well. So if you're looking at that for acne and psoriasis and eczema and things of that sort, it might be interesting to you. For those of you that's not, you might be more uh, uh, drawn towards the Mito Pro series. But hey, I just want to let you know about this because this is a great new panel. If you've got a large budget and you want the latest and greatest and the most high-tech product on the market right now, no, the Mito Adapt is probably the way for you to go. Thanks so much, friends. Be sure to hit the like button. Come back and see us soon and hope you have a great week.